Now this is something which only a Tesla owner would appreciate. Every time we see this notification of either a software update being available or complete, our hearts do skip a beat. And I'm still mind blown that I was able to trigger this update from my bed. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla the Gong and this is 2020.12.10. Driving visualization or traffic visualization is a massive feature in this update and I'm going to show you what the difference between a Model X pre-Raven 2018 model and a Model X Raven late 2019 model is. I need to thank Twitter user, way too old for this. Wow, what a fantastic name mate. I need to thank him for this because he reached out to me and said he is happy to share his Raven Model X footage with me. I am absolutely thrilled that my car is able to see cones. I know a lot of people have made a lot of jokes about these cones and I'm quite happy to laugh, but I'm still thrilled. It is amazing that my car is able to see these. I'm going to show you a few instances of how this works in the 2018 pre-Raven Model X. You will notice that a lot more things that are colored orange are recognized as cones, particularly when the car is in a standstill. In this instance, these are multiple orange pillars recognized as cones. Now, I'm quite happy for this, to be honest. At the very least, it knows that it should not be ramming into these things. It should avoid this. Not too bad for a start. I'm hoping that when my car gets the hardware 3.0 update, which I am eligible for because I got full self-driving on this car, I should get it. I'm hoping that once that comes, I'll be able to see a lot more. Now contrast that to a Raven Model X late 2019. It can see traffic lights. It can see stop signs. It can see trash bins. When was the last time that you were happy to see a trash bin? Well, this is what Tesla does to you. Here are some more examples of the same. Well, HAL 9000 icon is now gone. MGM, the company which owns 2001 A Space Odyssey, objected to that, some copyright issue. So now it's been changed and this is a slight tip of the hat to Portal, a video game by Valve. And now to the dash cam viewer. I must say it is beautifully implemented. The icon is still the same but when you click on the icon there is a drop down menu which says save footage and launch viewer. And when you click on save footage it does save the footage. And there is also a small little message says car must be parked to view this and then when you click on the launch viewer in the lower half of the screen the dash cam viewer launches it is simply superb now this makes it really easy to view the dash cam videos all you have to do is click on this burger icon it opens all the videos that are there in this usb stick you can swipe up click on them and it opens a main view of the front camera and the other cameras are there in the four corners. All you have to do is click on these to toggle between the videos. It's really cool. You can swipe to scrub on the video. And also click on the delete button if you want to delete this instance. I'll leave you guys with some more footage but before I go, please do watch this video. It is there in the description of this video as well. I'm trying to do something for the community. I really need your help for this. If you can use my Tesla referral code, it will be a massive help to somebody else who's trying to get their first Tesla or rather get a taste of the first Tesla. I do not need the supercharger credits, 
because I have unlimited supercharging on my Model X. And even if I win something from these referrals, I'll definitely put it back into a ride or car sharing network. A huge thank you to everybody who has helped before. This is Tesla on the Gong signing off. Peace.